Hi guys, meet again in this channel. This time, I will make a cap jar drawing. With brim, and inside thread. Okay, let's watch the video directly. On the top plane, choose sketch. Create circle. Set diameter at 90 millimeters. Okay, choose extruded boss. Set the depth at 17 millimeters. Okay. Then, choose shell. Set thickness at 0.9 millimeters. Select faces to remove. Show preview. Okay. Select sketch 1, then choose extruded boss. From surface, select face. Set depth at 1 millimeter. Check thin feature. Reverse. Set thickness at 1.3 millimeters. Okay. Choose fillet. Select full round fillet. Click faces to fillet. Okay. Click this face and choose sketch. Select edge, then convert entities. Create center line. Offset entities. Set offset distance at 0.6 millimeters. Check by directional and check offset geometry. Click center line. OK. Trim entities. Select trim to closest. OK. On the featured toolbar, choose extruded boss. Reverse direction. Set depth at 14 millimeters. Thickness at 0.5 millimeters. OK. Full round fillet. Click faces to fillet. OK. Create constant fillet at 0.6 millimeters of radius. Select edges to fillet. OK. Choose circular pattern. Select feature of extruded thin 2, fillet 2, and fillet 3. Select pattern axis on edge part. Set number of instances at 90. OK. Select sketch 1, then choose extruded boss. Set depth at 1.6 millimeters. Check thin feature. Set thickness at 0.65 millimeters. Uncheck merge result. OK. Create fillet at 0.6 millimeters of radius. OK. Choose combine. Select bodies to combine. OK. The smooth face. Why didn't I choose to check merge result? So it is no longer necessary to use the combine command. Here's the reason. When the fillet command is given, the result is not as smooth as when I remove the merge result. Okay, let's continue. Create new plane. Click this face as first reference. Flip offset. Set offset distance at 4.5 millimeters. OK. On the new plane, create sketch. Then choose helix and spiral. Click inside edge, then convert entities. Exit sketch. Set pitch at 5 mm. Revolution at 1.1. Start angle at 0 degrees. OK.
On the right plane, choose Sketch. Then create Sketch on the point of Edge Helix. Convert Entities. Choose Offset Entities. Set Offset Distance at 0.9 mm. Uncheck Bidirectional. Reverse. OK. Click Helix, then Convert Entities. Change to Construction Geometry. Create Centerline. Then create offset entities. Set offset distance at 0.85 mm. Check by directional. OK. Trim entities. Create spline. Exit Sketch. On the Feature Toolbar, choose Swept Boss. Select Helix as a path. OK. Hide Plane 1 and Helix Curve. Choose Revolved Boss. Select Planar Face to create profile. Click this face, then Convert Entities. Offset Entities. Set offset distance at 12 mm. Uncheck by directional. OK. Then choose Revolved Boss. Set angle at 20 degrees. OK. Repeat on other side. Choose Sketch. Convert Entities. Offset Entities. OK. Choose Revolve Boss. Set Angle at 20 degrees. OK. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.